All right, buckle in, wild weather pattern ahead. This is the Monday evening edition of Weather for Weather Geeks. We're going to detail the big changes that lie ahead at the end of the week and into that first full weekend of October. But before we look ahead, let's start out by looking behind. This is the first uh, Weather for Weather Geeks of October, so let's quickly review September's numbers. The month ended on a warm note, 78 on Friday, 77 Saturday, and the month will go into the record books as warmer than the average. When you combine highs and lows, about a degree and a half or so warmer than the average. And of course, the bigger story was the lack of precipitation in September. At the airport, it was the third driest September on record with a paltry 0.78. That is almost three inches behind average. And really, it was just like flipping a switch. After a wet month of August, September was anything but wet. If we didn't have some downpours around the airport on Thursday when we picked up almost a half an inch, I mean, it, we would have had uh, the second least amount of rain on record in the month of September. All right, so looking ahead to October, this uh, over the weekend, the uh, Climate Prediction Center issued their final October outlook. And in terms of temperatures, nowhere across the lower 48 states uh, are we expecting uh, a slam dunk forecast of a cooler than average month. Now, a few spots may turn out cooler than average. Uh, you can see there's kind of equal chances once you're down towards Atlanta and Miami. But warmth is favored in most of the country. Now, of course, there's going to be some cool days. We're going to have a very chilly stretch coming up here at the end of this week, end of the weekend, early next week as well. But the month as a whole will come out in the wash as warmer than the average, it looks like right now, uh, thanks to a very warm start to the month and a recovery. After that cool stretch, it looks like beyond, say, the first half of next week, it won't be as warm as today and tomorrow, but it should be a little bit uh, warmer than the average for a time after that cool stretch. Higher confidence in the precipitation outcome for October. Looks like pretty strong odds that this will be another drier than average month. Maybe not the big departure that we had in September, but uh, odds are certainly favoring it uh, coming out of the wash as drier than the average this month across eastern Ohio and western PA. Well, you can break out the thesaurus today to find any number of words to describe what a fantastic day weather-wise it was. How about just nice? You know, I went through the numbers. I, I made this graphic a year or two ago. I went through all the numbers and try to find when nice day season really is around here based on scientific data. Um, basically, there's two peaks around here. When we define a nice day as no rain and highs between 65 and 80, you have a peak in the mid to late spring period, say Mother's Day to Father's Day. And then you have another peak, which occurs from like Labor Day through about Columbus Day. So early September through early October. Today was a little bit warmer than 80, but we're gonna call it nice anyway. It was just a drop-dead gorgeous day out there for today. We did 82 at the Youngstown Warren Airport today, 83 in Pittsburgh, 84 in New Philly. This looks like a map I'd show you in July, not the first half of October. No records today, but of course, this is way, way above the average, about 15 degrees above the average. Just after I post this video, uh, be sure and uh, head outside to check out a nice space station flyby. We're actually gonna have a few nice space station flybys with clear skies this week. We'll have some evening passes and this evening will be uh, fairly high and fairly bright, 818 in the north uh, west-northwest sky, disappearing five minutes later south-southeast, about 56 degrees above the horizon. So pretty high, pretty bright, and what you see is what you get for the next couple of days. Much like the last few days, there could be a little fog, mainly in the river valleys, first thing on Tuesday morning. Otherwise, high pressure brings us sunshine, and we'll just blitz through Wednesday because it's pretty much the same day. Thursday, a little bit different. I do think that uh, some clouds will start to build in Wednesday night into Thursday, but I think we're dry through the daylight hours Thursday, and this will be the last warm day, probably our last 80-degree day until sometime next spring. This is a big-time pattern change coming our way at the end of the week and into the weekend. If it were the middle of winter, we'd be talking about some Mondo Lake Effect snow <laughs> across the region and uh, wind chill factors and things like that with this deep of a trough settling over the uh, Great Lakes, especially when the lakes are still quite warm. Um, so we're going to see lake effect rain showers this weekend, not a washout. Can't guarantee it's going to be dry or raining for high school football and for the YSU game Saturday evening, but we have that chance in the forecast anyway of some showers this early in the game. You know, we're still four or five days out. We can't get more specific than that, but sort of randomly placed lake effect rain showers will be a possibility from Friday through much of the weekend. Some intervals of sun in between, but any sunshine won't help us out. I think we'll be, we'll be in the 50s this weekend with enough of a breeze at times to make it feel like it's no higher than the upper 40s to around 50. We're going to go from like August to Halloween kind of weather 
in in the course of 72 hours or so. So uh, 80 Thursday and then 57 Saturday, and the coolest day of the bunch likely to be on Sunday. Our current forecast is for a high of 53. As I mentioned earlier in the video, once we get done with this big change, temperatures should start to recover pretty nicely during the second half of next week. So 9, 10, 11 days from now. But yeah, easily the uh, most significant cold front of the early fall season coming our way at the end of this week. Thank you for watching the Monday evening edition of Weather for Weather Geeks. I'll see you right back here same time, same place on Tuesday. Shh, follow me on all the social media outlets.